If you know what's good for you, you'll stay down. Hello my friends and welcome to the video today. I wanted to really play with a multi-class kind of concept. I've done this before, uh, the Barbarian Monk was such a fun video and I've just been wanting to come back to this concept for a while. Uh, nothing was grabbing me and I, I'm not sure why but now I've got one. See, I wanted to see what it would look like to take a multi-class concept of an artificer combined with a cleric. It, they're just such weird different styles and I'm gonna be honest, this is narratively interesting. I'm not bringing this up as a let's make a really really good rules as written combat engine. That's not, that's not this character. I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't really follow like the metagamey stuff. I just make characters that I think are interesting. And for this character, I really had a lot of fun playing with the design elements here. So for the artificer, I really was thinking towards the armorer class. It's kind of like magical Iron Man is the way most people describe it. But the artificer in general, it's just the idea of the magical inventor. Right? It's like the best renditions of Merlin tend to go this direction. Just this person who has this knowledge of the physical world in a universe where the physical world includes magic. Right? So just because magic is part of physics in this universe doesn't mean there aren't people who study physics. And that's what we have with the artificer, right? We've got the alchemists, the battle masters, the armorers, the artillerists. These are the people who are just like the engineers of a magical world. Flip side to that, we're looking at the cleric, right? And personally, I don't tend to find paladins super interesting. Um, I feel like paladins are very much just they could honestly be a cleric subclass, and I'd be fine with that. Like, it's just another flavor of magical crusader, like, I have the power of my god behind me. And for whatever reason, the cleric just jives for me better than the paladin for that. Go ahead, again, yell at me in the comments. I get it. Everyone's got different favorites. Um, Honestly, if I'm playing a religious character, my favorite is to make a fighter acolyte because the idea of someone who has this deep faith that means a lot to them, but they just carry it with them as they go out on the battlefield and hit things with a sword is way more interesting to me than either of the, you know, well, I guess Druid is also a divine caster technically, but you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm explaining it badly, but the cleric, it's just this idea of this armored defender who sets out to right the wrongs and to, to spread the word of their deity and to come out into a world that is dark and cruel and be the light and the beacon within it. And just the beacon of faith combined with the beacon of science is such a compelling idea. And then on top of all of it, I get to put her in this cool Iron Man pose as she's descending on these flying boots that she's got, summoning up these rings of magic around one arm as the cape billows. Um, as I was making her, I went with the white hair, just because it was the last thing I colored, and by the time I got around to it, I was looking at it like, you know, it actually looks kind of good with white hair, maybe we leave it? So I went with that and then realized after I was done with the whole piece, I really made this character look like a white version of Storm. <laughs> so oops. Uh, but regardless, I do think she's a cool design and I do think it's a neat multi-class idea. Like I said, it's not probably an optimal multi-class. It's not like a coffee lock or whatever else people have been making lately. It's not one of the multi-classes I always hear about. Um, I think Sorcedin is a big one, and what's the other one? Hexlock, I think? I don't know. Paladins and Warlocks are pretty easy picks to multi-class into for whatever reason. I'm sure it's somewhere in the math. I just can't be bothered. I like interesting characters that can have cool roleplay moments. Like, one of my favorite characters I ever played was a half-orc bard. What do you want? I don't optimize. 
But regardless, we do have this character just ready to descend into the fray and with this very imposing, armored, glimmering, shining presence, just boof, drop into a situation and defuse it and just, everyone, we will remain calm in the face of what comes. You, you will stand that gate and you will stand there whatever comes through. You will not yield. Men to arms, archers to your position. Like, that's the character I'm envisioning here. The more I see this imposing, glorious leader-like visage descending from the clouds. So yes, I am very excited about this concept. Uh, the more I've been wanting to come back to this, the more I've been thinking, hey, maybe, just throwing this out there, you have some cool multi-class ideas that I could play around with design-wise. That could be a lot of fun. So go ahead and leave that in the comments if you have anything you'd like to see me draw, particularly if it's a interesting 5e multi-class combination. Uh, you know what? Forget 5e. If you want to throw like warlords and shamans and other 4e stuff, or even pick some 2e stuff, that got wild from what I understand. Just let me know some cool multi-class combos that you would like to see me draw, because I want to draw more multi-classes. All of that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs> thank you for watching. Please share the video with a friend or several friends, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw in a future video. Later, y'all!